she's laughing, yo, she's laughing. <laughs> My only mission trying to get this girl to stop crying. <laughs> made even more bizarre by the fact that I just got back from Atlanta and I'm in Los Angeles. I'm not jet lagged or am I? Okay, it's a three hour difference. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna get into all of it and I need to I need to eat snacks while I tell you this story because there's a whole there's a whole explanation because otherwise without it I just seem like this crazy girl. I seem like this crazy person. Why are you flying to the other side of the country to stay there for three hours and then flying straight back? None of that makes sense. Just like, what? Just Better. During a talk like this, I need to have snacks. That's the only way that I feel cozy. And you guys know right now that I am obsessed with my boxes. Guys, this is my favorite snack box. I know, I know, I know, I know. Because this is sponsored, you're gonna be like, but is it really though? I have a giant box of mochi that I got from Boxu because I loved it so freaking much. These are a Japanese snack box. I have a thing, you guys know this, where I am not the biggest fan in the world of snack boxes because I find that, well, these are all, these are kind of like, um, I wouldn't say scam, but a lot of them you can find them at H Mart. A lot of them you're like, wow, this is just Pocky sticks that I bought in a box for overpricedness. It's never good, but Boxu, it's probably one of the most unique snack boxes that I've ever ever tasted and it's cool because they actually work with Japanese snack makers that have been in business for the past like hundreds of years they work with some businesses that have been open for over a hundred years I have never seen these at any market I have experienced so many new snacks you can actually in order an individual box that are all new themes so this one is summer fruit because it's summertime or you can get monthly boxes or multi-month subscriptions and it starts at just $36 a box and you get free shipping for the US so it comes with this little thing where it tells you about every single snack, all of their flavor profiles. It talks about what this snack is, what this one, what it tastes like. It also comes with tea. I love their tea selection. Look at that. This one I saw in the brochure. These are like watermelon gummies, which I love oh. Japanese gummies. Uh-oh, uh-oh, the dogs have awakened. Look at this beautiful watermelon gummy. Are you seeing this? Oh my God. I've never tasted a watermelon gummy like that. I thought it would taste like a, every other watermelon gummy out there. Almost like a juicy, dried watermelon. That doesn't make sense because if it's dried, it's not juicy. That's every doing snack something is for me. So refined. That's what he keeps saying. It doesn't taste like um it like a basic at all. <laughs> There's so much weird flavors in there. Juicy. They come with like orange cakes. That orange. <laughs> Oh you can also auto renew your subscription with the option to cancel or pause at any moment if you guys are traveling You can easily do that on their website the box ships out in one to two weeks because it's shipped straight from Japan Like this is how authentic it is straight from Japan to your door into your mouth all of these delicious goodies I'm gonna leave a link in the description to get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box and save up to $47 using my code which is mango 10 that's mango 10. Thank you Baksu for sponsoring today's vlog Let let me open one more thing and then I'll explain. It was a purple gummy, pure oh, this grape. Is so weird. Do you see that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh this my is god. So good. Try this. No. Try this. Mm. Dude, that is so weird. That is my favorite gummy. Whoa. <laughs> That's so good. What is this? Some sort of. What? I, I think, think it's I like a yuzu is. peel. Yes. If I sound like I'm losing my marbles, it's because I am. I just had the craziest, this might be one of the craziest travel experiences I've ever had. I took a five hour flight to go across the country to go to Atlanta. I stayed three hours on the ground. We got back on a four hour flight straight back home and I am pretty wiped. But here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. So we saw a house. <laughs> okay. Hold on. And Hold we on. saw Sophia too. We saw Sophia. Let me explain why we went, okay? I know that when I say I saw a house, you're gonna be like, I didn't even know you were thinking about Atlanta. Like, what the heck? And like, maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. It's a long story, okay? But we, we've we been looking at all over these places. Austin, Texas, you know, Dallas, Houston. And there was a brief moment where 
this is still a moment for me. I want to move to Korea for six months. Six solid months. Can you imagine the China. food? He keeps, he keeps saying China, okay? But like, can you imagine the food either way? The shopping, the, the vibes, the experience. The only reason I'm not doing that is because what about the dogs? And secondly, I can't even order McDonald's. <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> I thought that I was good at Korean. I'm not that good at Korean. The minute that I got to Korea, I was smacked with that reality. So continuing on. I've been looking at all these places and like on the lowdown, don't tell anyone because I wasn't I wasn't telling my parents because I didn't want them to get so excited. I was looking at houses in Atlanta for like the whole time. If I find the perfect house in Atlanta, maybe I'll go see it. And then it's been months. Everything. I didn't like it, okay? And I love it. And then a house came on the market. And I, looking at these pictures, I was like... Does this not have my personality in this house? Am I getting attached already? No, I'm not. So then I was like, okay, still can't tell my parents because they're gonna get excited. They're gonna think I'm moving back to Atlanta and it's gonna be a whole thing. They're gonna start planning the coming back party. And it's, no, it's not that serious. So we had his parents go look at it and they said it was really nice. So then I was like, oh shh. So then we sat here and we were like, okay, we can either, we can either let this just go by because every other place that we've been thinking about moving to, like let's say Austin, Texas, there have been homes just coming in and out of the market that we've loved. So we didn't feel this rush because worst case scenario, another house will come on the market that we love. But in Atlanta, we haven't really loved many houses. So we decided to just like go and see it. <laughs> Okay, he's sitting on me. So we decided to go and see it, but the only way that it would work with our schedule is to go for three hours. And my sister was working that day, which was like the worst timing in the world. So we went there and we saw the house, but more importantly, I saw my niece for the first time ever. Here is that footage. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Place a lot. I like the greenery too. I like the greenery. Like we're in a forest. It feels very zen and the house is really elevated so we don't really see much of the neighbors or anything. It's very yeah. private. I don't even think I would want to put like dense velvet shades, like maybe some yeah. sheer curtains for nighttime. This one doesn't okay. You look tiny. Oh, do I really? It looks so small. <laughs> okay, yeah, the windows are big. I like that the office has oh, these glass doors. Okay, so this room. would be the entrance, that's fine. And then so this should be the dining room. I mean, I feel like this one's like the same, yeah. It's it nice very nice. bright. Yeah. The hardwood is nice. It's got nice drawers. So okay, this, this is, is the first dim. guest room. Yeah, it's well, kind of dim. Much bigger than I thought it would be. Really? Like on the video, I thought that it was gonna, it's gonna be, be tiny, tiny, right? Tiny, but yeah. I feel like we could actually do a lot here. It's pretty big. I do love this sink. And I love this tiling. The tiling's cute. Ooh, I love this shower stall. It's so cute. Okay, so this is a powder room. I just want to check out. Okay, so it's one big drawer, which is nice. I like the mirror. I love these. These are beautiful walls, these sconces. So this is the pantry. Is it big enough? Probably not for you. Probably not for me. <laughs> I think these are just for my robins. I think I would have to do more here. So this is like gloomy day. Uh, okay, it's gloomy, but I like it. I didn't even notice this. I don't even that's know. cool. Okay, that's cool. What's in here? Oh my gosh, it's a nice machine. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. The skylights are around the back side, so in the morning, the light comes in. And this is really a light house yeah. when the sun is out. It's beautiful. Double, double dishwasher bed. Wow, this garage is so bright. 
second garage. Oh yeah, this is not bad. Oh, the fireplace is on. So bright. Insanely bright. Okay, I think I would just film in here all day. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're in heaven. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. She's smiling. She's happy. She's happy. Oh, she's laughing. Oh my god, she's smiling. She's happy. She's happy. I love that the bathtub is right here in front of the big shower. The shower looks mad. We could shower at the same time. Okay, so this is the closet, which I think is huge. Okay, so you would get this one. And I get this one. I don't even think I this one. <laughs> There's a lot of drawers in here. This is the coolest part. We saw a house in, um, I think it was Texas, was it Dallas? Something like that, okay? But the laundry room, there's another laundry room connected directly to the master closet. So do I even need a hamper? Probably not. This okay, so this is another here. bathroom. I like the tile. I like that every bathroom's different. I really love this walking it's down. More gloomy. Yeah. But you know, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's getting you more of like nighttime. Oh, I love it's like it. Right? It does feel homey. Now we're going down. I like that there's even a window here. So we we have a longtime family friend who also has like a contracting business here with us because this is obviously way too dim. I want to add like five million light bulbs. Like all these recess lightings are really yellow as well, so we can replace them with white lights and do cute. more. This is, but so cute. This is so the basement. Yeah, we kept thinking. So okay, so we're so used to like the. Um, um, LA Zillows, right? We're so used to LA house hunting. Everything in the picture looks this small in real life. Yeah, it's actually really big. Because look at this like, machine. This is a big machine. Yeah, it looks actually really big. You want to check out the theater? Oh, you look cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh yes, this is a nice bedroom. It's carpeted. We're gonna take out the carpet. Oh, but this, this so one's really cute. pretty. With all the windows. And oh, then a bathroom really nice. down here, which is this nice. Too. Yeah, this part I think we definitely need some lighting help, but okay. <laughs> My only mission right now, the only thing I'm useful for, because I'm in the back seat, is trying to get this girl to stop crying. Oh, 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 there's actual tears. Oh. oh my god. Whoa. A few minutes later. Oh Guys, I can't even think back here. I can't even think. Eventually. Okay. Oh, now you're gonna sleep. Now you're gonna close your eyes and shit. I mean, that's fine. No, don't start again. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was page 19. One eternity later. Omo. Omo. Um, that was like the. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? Oh. Oh. What's happening? I'm just trying to take her out. I'm just trying to. <laughs>
I'm done. <laughs> so, um, I realized that I didn't have a cardigan or like a shirt underneath this one for the plane ride and it was so hot in the plane. So I'm borrowing something from Sophia. I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm sorry, I won't touch your clothes. <laughs> God, I'm... Look at how small this is. Do you see this? He wants me to vlog this as proof that he is accepted by our... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. So we're leaving now, but there is a rainbow. I repeat, there's a rainbow. Is that a sign? Hi. So we got first class as a treat for this trip, and the, the other ones have been so shitty, but this one has like a flat grass. experience in Atlanta. That was my experience seeing Sophia for the first time. My sister wasn't there. Andrew Opa wasn't there. It was just, it was just me, my mom, Sophia, and a contractor, and then my dad later on. That was wild. She's so big. She's so tall. She's so big. Like, she's so tall. I don't know how they measure babies. You're like Probably inches? inches? No, no. Yeah. no. There's like a scale when you're, you're a baby. There's a scale. It's like zero to the hundredth percentile. Mm. Or something of that sort. How, what percentage is she? For her height, she's like maxed out. She's maxed out. Yeah, wow. she's actually taller than my sister's friend whose baby's like already one years old. And she's only like a hundred something days old. What? Yeah, she's tall. Is she going to be like a supermodel? Or I don't know because Andrew was tall. So I'm thinking she gets it from that side of the family. So we see her. She's so tall. She's so cute. I don't know if it's because she's my niece, but I find her very adorable. Even when she's crying. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Those cry. That cry though. <laughs> that cry triggered something in me where I don't know what to do. I thought babies, <laughs> this is how, this is how uneducated I it am. It was so hectic in the car, because we're trying to find a restaurant. We had like 45 minutes left before we have to head to the airport. Yeah. No restaurants. I haven't seen my dad in like a year and a half or something, right? So I'm like, do I really take my dad to fucking Chipotle right now? No. So I'm like looking for restaurants that are open in the area. She's <laughs> bawling her eyes out. And it's so funny because when you look at her, She's got no teeth, so it's just all tongue moving around when she's screaming. And I'm like, how do you expect me to take you seriously when you don't even have teeth? But how does your mom, like the moment your mom picks her up, it's insane. <laughs> Is it because, like, how does she know? I don't know. Is it know. because it's like the scent? Or is it because the way they carry them? I don't or know. that's insane. Apparently, she likes my mom the best. My sister said that she would be jealous, but she is um, currently being bullied by Sophia. So <laughs> what do she, you mean? like, she just thinks Sophia is the biggest bully in her life. Okay, <laughs> my sister is a new mom, and she's being bullied by her own child. Okay, <laughs> the other day I called her. She's in bed. I'm like, honey, what are you doing? And then she's like. I'm like, well, can you go downstairs? I have to tell you and mommy something. Um, I can't do that. Why? Because then, then I have to watch her. And I need just like two minutes. I just need two minutes to lay down. I'll go down in ten minutes. Don't tell mommy. I was like, I'm not going to tell mommy that you're laying down for ten minutes. What the heck? <laughs> she is going through it, okay? So, Sophia really likes my mom, and then my sister, and then everyone else is cold rice to Sophia, including me, okay? She doesn't care about me at all. I thought that babies would be easier. I thought that when they're screaming, you could just... Like, I can't you know. And then they would be better? No. She didn't give a flying fork. I thought I was going to be up in there, baby whisperer. No. She hated my guts. And then we, uh, my mom was feeding her with a bottle, and then she took the bottle out, and it was just like a... <laughs> it was like milk splitting. Oh my god, I'm turning into a mom. I'm telling you guys stories about a baby that you don't care about, exactly. okay? Exactly. Oh, no! Cares about. No! Anyway, that's my niece. So, she's really cute. I can't wait till she starts talking so I can teach her how to be a bad bitch.
I'm really excited. You don't understand. I've got lessons in my head already. You're a bad influence. A strange adult male comes up to you. What do you say? You pee pee smell! And you run the other way. So the house. Let's talk about the house. The house was nice. <laughs> <laughs> The house is really nice. I mean, it was massive. What, what can you not like about a house like that? I mean, it was beautiful. The fact that I was looking at this house, I was like, wow, these rooms are so nice. There's so many windows. We did have a family friend who is a contractor who came and he, I already knew from the pictures that there were some lighting issues. Like the windows are big, they're huge. There's so much natural light. But at nighttime, I was worried that it's so dim because they didn't have a lot of light bulbs, like even openings for light bulbs. So I couldn't even just buy and like hang a light bulb. At nighttime, I want I want the, the house to feel like daytime. At nighttime. Sometimes with all the lights on, I'll still feel this urge to like turn on a filming light. Maybe that's something to do with my paranoia. My anxiety. Maybe. I have no idea. I just love it bright. But there's not really much else I can say. There was like an ice maker. That was cool. But I know if you guys have been watching me for a really long time, you're thinking, Stephanie, you hate Atlanta. Why would you move to Atlanta? That sounds crazy. You be shit talking to Atlanta all the time. First of all, Atlanta is a wonderful city. It's where I grew up, but I just didn't have a pleasant childhood. I didn't have a pleasant like high school experience. It was just really rough. Some of like the darkest days of my life, okay? So every time that I think back on that, I just, I, I associate it with Georgia. Instead of associating it with the people or maybe the time period or who I was, right? I'm just like, it's freaking Georgia. But my whole family's there, and I feel like it's just been kind of in the back of like, oh, well, we should maybe one day check out some Georgia houses since we're house hunting anyway. Like, just kind of throw it in there. See, see what's out there. See what's on the market. Let's see if we fall in love with something. So that's why we checked it out. We're still looking at different places, not just Atlanta. So anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. What do you think of the house? But more importantly, what do you think of me and Sophia's wonderful relationship that I feel like we have bonded over the past, you know, two hours. She held my finger, she held it really tight. I was like, I know what that means. You never want me to let go. You love me for the rest of my life. Let me know in the comments and make sure to check out Boxu. I'm gonna leave all of the links in the description so that you can get 10% off of your favorite Japanese snacks. Seriously, so delicious and they have themed boxes and everything has been just a hard hitter. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ugh.